Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Kyle and I make reactions to movies and TV shows. So let's get into some 12 Monkeys. This is season two, episode 11, Resurrection. We're getting really close to the end here, you guys. Really freaking close and I'm scared. I am very scared. This is gonna be halfway through the series. Uh, so I was, I was thinking about this the other day and you know, this TV show, this is actually one of the few TV shows that I like, I have a love-hate relationship with. On the one hand, I have to have more. I need to know what comes next. It has suckered me in. It has, I, I, I just, ah! But on the other hand, now, don't get me wrong, I think you could watch this show and just lay back and kind of absorb it, but what would be the fun in that? The writers have kind of made this show, so yes, you can sit back and be like, oh, well, this is a good show, but they've also included a lot of detail. So if you want to dissect and you want to pick things apart and you want to be like, oh my God, you can. And it's exhausting. It really is. But I love it. But it's exhausting. I don't think I could watch like four or five episodes of this show in a row. I just don't think I could do it. By the end, my brain would just be like, what is happening? What is even happening? I have only been taking this show like one episode every week. A couple of times I've done two episodes in the same week, but to just sit down and like binge season one and season two, I can't imagine doing that. I would, there'd be nothing left of me. So with that being said, Let's see how everything is going to turn out because Cassie and Cole and Ramsey, they are so far on the outs. I don't know. I mean, like y'all saw my last reaction. I was so disappointed with Cassie and Ramsey, just beyond disappointed. If Cole just forgives them, because we've had now several times they've said it's like, well, Cole is loyal to a fault. So Cole may just forgive them, which, hey, it's Cole. He wants to forgive him. He can forgive him. But I'm disappointed. I'm not mad at them because I understand their reasoning. I understand their logic. But I can be disappointed in characters. <laughs> Anyways, like if you want to like, leave a comment down below. Links, everything else is in the description. Let's get to some time travel. Is this, is this 12 Monkeys headquarters? Is it all burning down? Has the Red Forest come? <gasps> the callback! Best before 2044! No! Are they gonna kill old Jennifer? Mother of the storms! Why won't you lead us? I think she's kind of given up. Today is the day. One that ends at the beginning and begins at the end. We need... Okay. James Cole. There are many endings. Today is one of them. Oh. Ending to what, though? If the Red Forest really is at their door, are we going to see, like, a complete reset? Oh my god, it's right above. How long do we got? Not long. Six hours. Maybe no time at all. <laughs> you sure this will work, right? We stop the paradox, we fix time. I don't think she's sure of anything. You all right? It's come down to this. If only the world had a better physicist to save it. You are brilliant. You know, I never would have done any of this if I didn't believe in you. It's so cool to have him say that after the first episode. What? Uh, at least another... Six hours? I'm going as fast as I can. I'm afraid the calculations are Dr. Adler's expertise. Well then, it might be time to bring him out. I thought you were locked up too. We are, but were. Hey. We recruited others. We're not the only ones that have given up on Jones. <sighs> Ramsey, I just... You keep going farther and farther down this hole. Your charm You're is no longer selfie. working on me. Found Titan. I can splinter us there. Time travel without the time. Instantly. 
You are assuming he's still there. How are we going to stop the storms out there? After what he's done, he has to have another way to time travel. But I have to stop programming the jump. It'll take hours. What about Cole? What about him? <laughs> Ramsey. Cassie. Spearhead. You've you know how dangerous. Cassie, you've had time to think about this now. You willing to bet your life on it? <sighs> Cole, you better have some magic. Just, you better have something ready. Will you stay here? You get yourself ready. Ramsey, I don't know about you anymore. This might be your final episode. The way they're setting this up. Will you think? See, this is what I mean. This is why I couldn't do multiple episodes. I'm just like five minutes in. About Cassie and Ramsey. I figured you'd want them out last. That's what I thought. What the hell was that? How many wounded? Two. One critical. You're gonna need a doctor. Mm, well, you do have one. Cassie hasn't been a doctor in a little while, though, has she? Well, I wonder if everything I'm doing is just prolonging the inevitable. We'll find them. There is no we. Remember? You really don't have a right to be upset. Is that what you think I'm doing? Running away? I am trying. Don't try to save me. What you're doing right now, shutting down, locking everyone else out so you don't have to feel the pain. That's running away. Can I just say this? So I don't know how this is all going to end up. Cassie and Ramsey could be right. Like maybe every time I'm railing against those two and siding with Cole, y'all are just like, well, but Cole is wrong and Cassie and Ramsey are right. So let's entertain the idea that Cassie and Ramsey are right for a second. I think what's annoying me the most is that this is all happening like, what's the word by fiat like Cassie and Ramsey are basically making decisions that they think are right so even if they do end up being right in the end it's not because they made good decisions it's not because they made rational or logical decisions it's luck you know there's a at the moment this is a 50 50 heads up, heads down kind of situation. Cole could be right. Ramsey and Cassie could be right. And they are kind of exclusive from each other. If one is right, the other is usually, or not, I shouldn't say that. They could technically, they're exclusive from each other in the sense that if Cassie and, Cassie and Ramsey are right, it'll negate what's happening in Cole's situation. If Cole is right, it doesn't necessarily negate what's Cassie and Ramsey are trying to do. They could still track down the witness and find him in Titan. But for the moment, I'm going to, call them exclusive from each other. So it's a 50-50 toss-up. Whatever direction the show decides to go, Cole is at least, he's being cooperative. I don't think that he is, I don't think he and Jones are making this decision that they should go to 57 based on emotion. I think they're trying to look at the best option and the whole picture. And they're using, I mean, like, it's just, it feels like Cassie and Ramsey are just like taking, just taking control because they don't like what's being, ha what's happening. That's it. There's no conversation. There's no attempt to win Cole over. Ramsey kind of Ramsey and Cassie basically just said it's like this is what we think and you should go along with us because um maybe I'm just too invested in Cole. I don't know. I thought maybe we were going to fix this up and this would be done. I don't like seeing my babies tear themselves apart. <sighs> okay. Find the witness together. Why never make it there alive? Oh, like what? Maybe, maybe Cole will go with them to Titan. I don't tear my A team apart. Was that gunfire? What are you doing? It's 
We could have tightened. Secure the room. Don't take your eyes off her. Cole. Cole! I really hope that... Ramsey, you are not about to shoot Cole! Hold your fire! You all right? Cole, you're not about to shoot Ramsey. I just got shot at. I'm great. We gotta talk. Someone needs to put their gun down. Both of you would be preferable. Don't shoot. So how is this going to resolve itself? Neither of you is going to back down, unfortunately. Well, Cole might. Ramsey won't. Doesn't have to. He just walk away. There's no time. There's plenty of time. Enough time to program one last jump. You don't know what you're walking into. You'll kill yourself trying. I'm already dead. So you get to take the whole world with you? He's just consumed. He's just consumed by. Both of us are not going to end up on the same side as this. You know that, right? Can't let you take the machine. You come for it. He wanted to end like this. He does kind of owe you a bullet in the shoulder, at least. You might get me, but then they'll get you. Well, one of us is going to win. I think you're both gonna lose. Good luck. There's no winning in this situation. Jones, we got trouble. Ramsey's with Adler and Harris. They're coming for the machine. I don't think Deacon is a good choice for you. He's gonna choose Cassie. Tell me your troubles now. Deacon. What is happening here? What the hell are you doing? End of the line party. Okay. Mm, I see. You, you want a sword fight? Relax. Okay. <laughs> Cassie. Mm. Doesn't matter now. Contrary to popular belief and my sociopathic tendencies, a heart beats in this chest. No. Well. This is not a scene I thought we would get. I knew my days with her were numbered when you came back. Never been like that. Why don't we have a drink and talk about killing Ramsey? Just like the old days. Uh, this is very dark. <laughs> it is over when I say it's over. The world is going to end before you finish that bottle. Uh, you are a survivor. That is what you do. Now we are out of time here. Will you help me? Yes. Let's go save them. Yeah. Get it all up. I don't know what's happening in this episode. <laughs> Ramsey has been replaced by Deacon of all people. Hold on a minute. We can't just walk straight in there. It took you so long. You have really screwed the pooch, Whitley. You have. <sighs> no, Marcus. Sorry. At this point, at this point, Ramsey and Cassie better pray that they are right. Because who is, because I think that Jones and Cole could be the bigger people, especially Cole, and admit that they were wrong. If Ramsey and Cassie do turn out to be correct. I think that Cole could easily admit that he was wrong. Jones? I don't know. Yes. More yes than no. But if they're wrong, if Cole ends up being correct about 57, it won't come down to whether or not they can get over it. It'll come down to you betrayed us in a way that we can't really look past anymore. I mean, I said it in the last episode too, Cole is gonna have a hard time forgiving Cassie and Ramsey, but now you got the whole complex turning on Jones. This episode better have one heck 
of a twist coming that somehow ties 57 and Titan together so that we can just be done with this because it's causing a lot of internal stuff inside of me. We have to stop playing defense. Adler. I did this to you. Cool. Where is he? Think I kill him in cold blood? I do. I really think you would at this point. Hey, Lasky, you know it's good for you to get away from those controls now. No. We are all dead. If Cole doesn't go to 9057, all your you theories, don't... all your missions. You know we have a chance. what I say? The Paradox 57. Mr. Cole can stop it. We are going to Titan. The hell you are. Oh, what is he gonna do? He's gonna kill he's he's gonna kill the scientist dude. Right? As long as you get your revenge. Look around you, Cole. You're outnumbered. Oh my god, he's gonna do it. You're right. I can't stop all of you. Thing is I don't have to. I don't know anymore. I uh... It won't matter. You'll still be afraid. <sighs> hey, Cass. You're right. I don't like it anymore you do. Screw you, Ramsey. Screw you. Marcus, after all you gave up for our mission? Your father. It was your mission. Let go of me. You kill her? And there is no coming back for you. I don't care what they do the rest of the show. Point a gun at me, Mr. Ramsey. I assure you, there won't be a third. So you know the main reason I don't think that Cassie and Ramsey are going to be correct about this is because to be correct, they would have to take out the witness. It is episode 11 of season two. I am pretty sure that the way they have set up this witness guy, he's going to exist until the very final season. At the very least, they ain't taking him out in episode 11 when there are two episodes left of this season. So that's the main reason why I think that Cassie and Ramsey just can't be correct. There is no way this show is going to take out the wit. Well, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Let me revise that. I don't think there's any way the show will take out the witness right now, but they have surprised me at every turn. I didn't see this whole betrayal stuff coming. Ooh. Mayday! Mayday! Terrorists have taken over the Nakatomi building in Century City! Means, McLean, that I know why you're here. Have I ever said no to you? So she knew. She always knows. But there's something you've got now. All the adventures we've shared. Even the ones we haven't yet. We'll lead her. It takes one to know one. Is that a leader needs to make sacrifices. <laughs> Mm. Like what? Who? To let someone you love die for your mission. Cassie? Say Ramsey? And when you do, never look back. Oh, ja oh, she's talking about herself. She's talking about herself. Okay, She's going out in a blaze of fire. And she knows how, well, she knows some of how this ends. Because Cole must have told her at some point, right? Here they come. Oh, and they're on horses too. Shit. No, he's got the daughters with him. They're heading down to the south loading dock. Come on down. Hey, Deacon. What's up? Now, you're gonna help me tie these to something secure, or... He's growing on me. Here we go. We are invading. I so did not see this coming when they introduced the daughters back in season one. I did not see this coming. 
you know we're here? Thinks you're at the loading dock. Is this something you like, Granny? Not yet. Oh. Whitley, do you copy? Who's there? You are surrounded. Hello. I think you best put the guns down now. There's the sequence. Oh, I have a feeling I'm really gonna want to go to the next episode, though. My whole chest is tightening up because I know that they're building to something. And I don't think it's just Jennifer's death. Don't you uh, forget about me. But a chance to piss on you and Jose, well, it was too much to pass up. Jesus Christ. Wow. Deacon! <laughs> so that's how it happens. She's a doctor. Let her help her. Please. Cassie? Will you? Can you? I don't think you can. That was like straight to the gut. I think Mother is going to die, though. Like, this is the end, unless her cycle has somehow not been written yet. You knew this was gonna happen. Tiki talk. Those eyes. God damn it, Jennifer. Today is September 23rd, 2044. Mm. This didn't have to happen. It already did. My daughters need a mother. Find a me who needs daughters. Are they gonna bring current Jennifer to the future? Fire up the machine. The exact coordinates from my last return jump. <gasps> oh, oh, when, when Jennifer, when Jennifer was, oh, when Cole showed up at her door. Cole, is this when I become in the future a woman who's failed everyone? This is how she knows when it's gonna happen too. Then tell me what happens. How does this end? <laughs> oh, I can't, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, you aren't kidding. Jennifer. <sighs> this frickin' show. These frickin' writers. If I told you I needed you right now, would you help me? Have I ever said no to you? <laughs> Self-preservation's never been your thing. I never saw her coming to the future. Never. Mother? Yeah, this is gonna be trippy to see yourself dying, but she can't really come too close to her, can she? Without like paradox things happening? Or does that not happen when someone travels forward in time? Hello, egg. I'm chicken. Oh Not too close, or we'll both go boom. Okay. So, from this point on, everything that happens to her is a completely closed loop. So freaking cool. Day my cycle ends. Yours is just running the big turn. Just? For years I promised them a holy resurrection. No. I can. You can. You do. There's a place. Far from here. Called the witness feels safe. Uh, called Titan. You know what's there. Death. Stop the paradox 1957. But you you have a choice. Which is spit in the face of death. Lead the others to Titan. Or or or, or take them far, far away from here. We're not brave. I am so confused. There are many endings, and the right one is the one you choose. Choose your adventure. <laughs> oh my god. I love you. <laughs> Gotta love yourself. 
<sighs> that is such a Jennifer last line, too. Oh my god. So what is she gonna do? Is Titan the right place to go to, or...? <sighs> is she gonna send Cole back and then go to Titan? Daughters? Like she can navigate the storm, like she said? Your weapons and stuff? You. You need to get ready to go back and stop that paradox. You want the witness? Let's go get the bastard. You want us to go over land? You even know what's out there? You can't navigate those storms. I think she can. I got a yellow brick road right here in my head, Chief. She the primary primary. Mount up. We're taking them to Titan. All right. Everyone gets what they want. But Jennifer said that there's nothing but death at Titan. And I think old Jennifer did know that she was going to go to Titan. I think she just told her that because, I mean, technically she would know. I'm v I've gone from disappointed to incredibly angry with Ramsey. Only 1957. It should give you a head start with the messengers. James. Thank you. What? Believing in <laughs> Are we sure this isn't the final episode of the season? She going back? She going back? Oh, Cassie, please, yes. Katarina. Oh, thank heavens. Thomas. Go. 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 What is she gonna do? Mm. This was one heck of a build-up through this entire season. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Mm.